Hello, I'm IBX Tiger, and today we have some exciting news regarding Minecraft PS4 and Minecraft Xbox One editions. Uh, because we got some news that's sort of dampening on them, but sort of exciting a little bit at the same time. Because uh, now we know what version they're going to be. Uh, this comes from some news from 4J. It comes from, from tweets around the place, and it also comes from a little bit of personal analysis and stuff. Because you obviously have to take a little bit of a leap of faith here. But let's go right away anyway. Uh, so first of all, is the news. So someone tweeted at 4J uh, asking what version of the PS4 edition of Minecraft will be at launch. Uh, um, and what you know, what the closest PC version would be, and they responded with this because um, the underlying game code will be the same version across all consoles. So at least Xbox 360's title update 13 equivalent. Uh, so this is a really, really, really strange little thing that basically just tells us everything we thought was wrong. Uh, so first of all. Um, the reason this question comes up a lot is because the PS4 and the Xbox One edition of Minecraft, uh, we figured they might be different at first because they're developed by different teams. Uh, it seems that's not actually the case anymore, and uh, the, my argument for that will be later. So first of all, uh, what does underlying game code mean? Now, I think that means the game's features, the actual, you know, how the game works. That's all actually going to be the same across all four platforms. They're going to have the same game on next gen and on previous gen platforms. Uh, and then your next question might be, so if it's the same game, why is anyone going to play the Xbox One edition? Uh, so first of all, it's kind of like a port, you know, you can kind of just play it on a new console, which is a nice benefit. Uh, second of all, I think the next gen consoles are actually going to have quite a few advantages and quite a few, you know, non game itself uh, feels. So let's go into what those will be. Uh, so first of all, uh, some people might think the Xbox One edition will be better because um, a contract with Microsoft. However, uh, Notch has been tweeting around a lot recently, or at least he tweeted a lot recently, uh, a couple, you know, weeks ago, uh, that basically, uh, my Minecraft and Sony, they're, they're friends. Like, they're cool now. Uh, the exclusivity contract's over. Uh, he was pretty strange about it when the exclusive tr contract was up. Uh, so it really seems these are going to be tre treating all the platforms fairly. So these plot features will cover both the PS4 and the Xbox One edition, just so we're clear here. Uh, but first of all, what's uh, not in the online code but can be greatly improved by new power? So first of all, uh, the render distance and the world size. Uh, render distance is going to be maxed out. It might be higher than PC. Uh, on Xbox right now, if you get up really high, you can really notice the render distance pretty low right now. Uh, on PC, it will presumably be maxed out, which is a cool thing. Uh, stuff like the particle effects, the smooth lighting, that's all going to be maxed out on the uh, next-gen consoles, because there's just so much horsepower there. Um, in addition to this, there's going to probably be infinite worlds, as they just said. Uh, so, although it will be the exact same game, on Xbox you'll spawn in a world that has only 432 blocks each way. It's an 864 by 864 world. Uh, on the Xbox One edition, you'll have an infinite world as big as you feel like going into it, or maybe it'll just be a bigger limit, so maybe like 4,000 by 4,000. Uh, just something like that, so we'll get bigger worlds, which will be nice. Uh, in addition to this, the multiplayer will also probably have a lot of new stuff that makes it better to play and smoother to play. Uh, so stuff I'm talking about is like... Uh, you know, maybe 64 player servers or something. Uh, maybe some multiplayer servers that you can set up and invite other people to without them being on your friends list. Uh, loads and loads of cool stuff like that. As well as that, there's the features of the new console. Like I just said, make people not on your friends list. Uh, you have a thousand people on your friends list. Uh, as well as this, you can follow people on Xbox. And I believe they'll probably do something like that on PS4 because of the way they keep just, you know, stealing each other's ideas. Uh, so you, you guys will be able to play with me on Xbox One without me having to do this whole crazy, you know, breaking up with friends stuff. Um, <laughs> it's fully dramatic, actually. Uh, but yeah, so... To quickly summarise all the points I'm talking about, uh, basically the Xbox 360 edition is going to be the same like features wise than the Xbox One edition. So if you were just upgrading because you wanted uh, basically a PC equivalent, you don't need to. I would recommend if you want that, get a PC. Or if you don't have crazy money, just stick with the Xbox 360. There's not too much reason to go to an Xbox One uh, or a PS4. I'm just saying Xbox One generally, uh, just at each point, but yeah, whatever. So if you're considering which one is better, Xbox One or PS4, uh, whichever console you pre currently prefer, get it. They're going to be roughly the same. They're going to have updates for at least pretty much the same time. It depends on their different certification processes. Um, but yeah, the but the differences is going to be from console to console. Uh, it's just going to be you know who's on there and stuff like that. So. To finalise, do you need to upgrade? No. Is it nice to upgrade? A little bit. And I can also play with you guys on Xbox One because there's the following feature. Uh, so yeah, like the video if it has helped you out in any way. I hope you have enjoyed the little announcement video thingy magic or something along those lines. Uh, thanks for watching and goodbye.